हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम गुरमीत सिंह वेलकम टू क्रिएटा क्लासेस एंड आल्सो वेलकम टू अवर सीरीज ऑन ट्रैंगल्स फॉर क्लास टेन स्टूडेंट नोट दैट दिस कंप्लीट सीरीज इज एज पर द लेटेस्ट अपडेटेड सिलेबस एंड इन दिस कंप्लीट सीरीज वी विल कवर ऑल दिस चैप्टर्स यूजिंग द पावर ऑफ एनिमेशन एंड द विजुअल टूल टू मेक द टफ कॉन्सेप्ट इजियर फॉर यू इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल कवर द क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन एंड द लिंक टू ऑल द लेक्चर्स इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन चेक इट आउट and students one important thing do not forget to download the pdf of the concept and formula list the link is given in the description that will be really helpful to solve the question and also brush up the concept whenever you are having the exam or whenever you need so so without taking any further time let's start with this lecture best of luck let's start with question number 11 In figure 6.40 e is a point on side cb produce of an isosceles triangle abc with ab equal to ac if ad is perpendicular to bc and ef is perpendicular to ac prove that triangle abd is similar to triangle ecf so this is the question firstly let's observe the question and also the given figure in the given figure we are having a triangle abc and the side bc is produced up to the point e and ef is perpendicular to side ac it means the angle f is 90 degree and ad is perpendicular to the side bc it means the angle d is 90 degree further the triangle abc is given as an isosceles triangle isosceles triangle in which the two sides of the triangle are equal here ab and ac of this triangle is equal to each other and we have to prove the triangle abd this triangle and the triangle ecf this triangle as similar to each other we will take down this question by going in the reverse order we are doing so so that you understand the approach that you have to use in the examination the question will not be direct the same question will not repeat in the exam the question may be slightly tricky so you should know how to approach the question do not directly jump to the formulas try to observe the question and try to link what is given in the question with the figure and how to approach what you should think in your mind while seeing this question here triangle abd we have to prove as similar to ecf you should observe the sequence of this order of the vertices of the triangle like a is matching with e b is matching with c and d is matching with f and we have to rotate one of the triangle so that the corresponding angles these corresponding angles order should match so here we will rotate this triangle so that a should match with e and b should match with c and d should match with f we are doing so so that we can visually better approach this question if you are more creative you can solve without rotating the triangle that is very best but while rotating the triangle flipping the triangle just make sure the corresponding angles are side by side now we can better analyze the question and match the respective sides and the angles so here we have to prove both the triangles are similar that we can do by proving any of the two angles of both the triangles as equal to each other then we can apply angle angle criteria then we can show the triangles are similar to each other here angle d and angle f are both 90 degree that is they are perpendicular to the respective side so both the angles are 90 and equal to each other so we got both the angles are equal to each other further can you take down any of the other angle and show both the angles as equal to each other the hint is given in the question that is ab is equal to ac the triangle abc is an isosceles triangle ab is equal to ac so the angle b and angle c will be equal to each other that is the property of a triangle the angle opposite to equal sides are equal to each other ab equal to ac so the opposite angles will be angle b and angle c so here we got angle b and angle c are equal to each other so we got two angles of this triangle as equal so we got that triangle abd is similar to triangle ecf by angle angle criteria that is the answer of this question got it let's move to question number 12 the question is the side ab and bc and median ad of a triangle abc are respectively proportional to side pq and qr and median pm of triangle pqr show that triangle abc is similar to triangle pqr 
Our first step, we will observe the question and also we will observe the given figure. Here two triangles are given, triangle ABC and triangle PQR. And both the triangles are having the median AD and PM respectively. What is median? Median is a line segment that starts from the vertex of a triangle and joins the midpoint of the opposite side. Here the first median is starting from the vertex A and it is joining the point D which is the midpoint of the side BC. D is the midpoint, it means it is dividing the BC into two equal parts. Here BD and DC will be equal to each other. Got it? Similarly, in the triangle PQR, we are having the median PM. So M is the midpoint of side QR. M is dividing the side QR into two equal parts. So we got QM is equal to MR. Okay. Further, it is also given the side AB, BC and median AD are proportional to side PQ, QR and the median PM. That is AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR is equal to AD upon PM. This is given in the question. The ratios are given as equal. Further, we have to prove both of this triangle that is triangle ABC and triangle PQR as similar to each other. So let's see how we will approach. In the given part, it is given that AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR the first two part of the given equation. It means the ratio of the corresponding sides. Basically the two corresponding sides of the main triangle are given as equal to each other. Either we can prove the third side, the ratio of the third corresponding side as also equal to prove both the triangle as similar. Or we can prove the in-between angle to both of these corresponding sides as equal. That is, if we prove angle B and angle Q as equal, then by SAS criteria, we can say both the triangles are similar to each other. So we will go through this approach. That is, we will try to prove angle B and angle Q are equal. Let's see how we get there. In the given equation, BC and QR are given. Here we know point D is the midpoint of side BC. So can we replace the term BC that is side of the triangle BC with twice of BD? D is the midpoint of BC. So BC will be twice of any one of the line segment that can be BD. So BC will be twice of BD. Similarly, M is the midpoint of QR. So we can rewrite QR as twice of QM. That is twice of any one of the line segment, one part of the side QR. Here two and two will cancel out. We got AB upon PQ is equal to BD upon QM is equal to AD upon PM. We got ratio of the three corresponding side of these two triangle as equal to each other. All these three ratios are the corresponding sides, the ratio of the corresponding sides of these two triangles. Got it? So we can say both the triangles are similar to each other as the ratio of the corresponding sides are perfectly matching by SSS criteria that is side 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 criteria. Once we got any two triangle as similar, we can say their corresponding angles will be equal to each other. That is angle B and angle Q, angle D and angle M and angle A and angle P. These three angles will be equal to each other. Why? Because both of these triangles are similar to each other. Let's take only angle B and angle Q as equal. So if you observe in the main triangle, that is triangle ABC and triangle PQR, here we got angle B and angle Q as equal. The same thing just we have proved as equal. And further, it is also given AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR. The same thing in the given portion. The ratio of the two corresponding sides are equal and the angle in between these two corresponding sides are also equal. So by SAS criteria, the triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. That is the proof of this question. So that's it for question number 12. Let's move to question number 13. This question is slightly tricky. So pay your full attention, please. D is a point on the side BC of a triangle ABC such that angle ADC is equal to angle BAC. Show that C square is equal to CB into CD. So this is the question. The question is slightly tricky. Let's understand the question. In this question, we are given a triangle ABC. And also we are having a point D on the side BC. Let's join A and D. So here we are having a big triangle ABC. 
and also two small triangle ABD and ACD. Further, it is also given the angle D, the angle ADC is equal to angle BAC. So these two angles are given as equal to each other. Here angle ADC is given means this triangle will be applicable in this question, maybe. And further angle A, this big angle is given, it means this big triangle ABC can be applicable in this question. Let's see whether these two triangles are applicable or not. You should try to understand this, whatever is given in the question, you should try to link that with the figure. The given item will be used to solve the answers. So pay special attention to the item given in the question. Here angle D is given, it means that triangle ADC will be applicable. Angle A is given, it means that triangle ABC will be applicable. And we have to show that CA square is equal to CB into CD. In the theory part, we have not done any of the square formula. We have done only the ratios. So can we rewrite this equation as CA upon CD is equal to CB upon CA. We have just converted the square term that we have to prove as equal into the ratio form in which we are more comfortable in this chapter. Let's observe what are these four line segment. CA is this line segment. So it can be the part of the big triangle ABC or it can be the part of the triangle ADC. For the CD is given, yes, this is CD. So this is part of the triangle ADC. And for the CB is given, so which is the part of the triangle ABC, the big triangle. And CA again can be the part of the big triangle and the small triangle. So on observing the ratio which we have to prove as equal, we again are getting two triangles, the triangle ABC, the big triangle and the small triangle ADC. So let's try to observe this triangle and try to prove these two triangles as similar to each other. Once we are able to prove these two triangles as similar, so we can say the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal and we can prove our end result. So let's proceed. Here angle A and angle D in both the triangles are given as equal to each other. So we got one set of angle as equal. And further the angle C is common in both the triangle. So we got angle C is equal to angle C that is a common angle. In the two triangle we got the two angles as equal to each other. So we got the two triangles as similar by angle angle similarity criteria. And we know the ratio of the corresponding side in two similar triangle are equal. So we got CA upon CD is equal to CB upon CA, which is basically equal to CA square is equal to CB into CD. That is the answer of the question. So are you able to understand how we have approached this question? What you should think in the examination? You should try to link whatever is given in the question with the given figure or the figure that you have prepared. The given item will be useful in solving the question. In the figure, you can also correlate the respective corresponding angle by rotating the triangle. Here angle C is common in both the triangle. So angle C in both the triangle will be the corresponding angle. Angle A and angle D are given. So that will be the corresponding angle. So you can rotate this triangle to match the corresponding angles as side by side to each other. If you are not able to identify the respective corresponding sides. In the end, we have shown that the respective corresponding side, the ratio are equal. So you have to identify which are the corresponding side. You can rotate the triangle, you can match the equal angle and you can say which are the corresponding sides. So we have done with this question, question number 13. Let's move to question number 14. Side AB and AC and median AD of a triangle ABC are respectively proportional to side PQ and PR and median PM of another triangle PQR show that triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. Let's check down this question. This question is somewhat similar to the question number 12, but the approach and the answer is totally different. Let's see how we approach this question. Firstly, let's understand this question. In this question, we are given two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle PQR. And also the median AD and PM are also given. And we know what is median. Medians are the line segment that start from the vortex of a triangle and joins the midpoint of the opposite side. It means point D and M are the midpoint of side BC and QR respectively. 
why because ad and pm are the medians for the triangle abc and the triangle pqr respectively so we got d is the midpoint of bc and m is the midpoint of qr further it is also given ab and ac and median ad of a triangle abc are respectively proportional to side pq and pr and median pm of the triangle pqr it basically means ab upon pq is equal to ac upon pr is equal to ad upon pm these ratios are given as equal to each other so this is the given part and we have to show that triangle abc is similar to triangle pqr so let's proceed with this question here we have to show both of this triangle are similar to each other if you observe the given portion here ab upon pq is equal to ac upon pr means the ratio of two corresponding side of the two triangles are already given as equal to each other further if somehow we are able to prove angle a is equal to angle p then by side angle side similarity criteria we can prove or show that both the triangles are similar to each other so all the effort that we will do in this question will be to prove angle a is equal to angle p the question is slightly tricky so your full attention is needed here let's proceed let's draw the line segment de which is parallel to the side ac we have just simply drawn a construction the line segment de which start from the midpoint of the side bc that is from the point d and it join the side ab at the point e and this de is parallel to ac both of these line segment are parallel to each other similarly in the triangle pqr let's draw on the line segment ms which is parallel to pr so both of these line segment are parallel in both the triangle here we know the point d is a midpoint and point m is a midpoint but we do not know whether the point e and point s are the midpoint or not here we will apply the midpoint theorem the same theorem you must have done in the previous class the class 9th through the midpoint theorem we can say ac and ed are parallel so the point e will be the midpoint of the side ab the converse of the midpoint theorem we have applied similarly here we can say pr and ms are parallel to each other and point m is the midpoint of side qr so point s must be the midpoint of side pq got it the simple midpoint theorem we have applied you must have done in the previous class if we are having a triangle abc and d and e are the midpoint of side ab and ac then the line segment be will be parallel to bc if we join the midpoint of the two side then the line segment form will be parallel to the third side and here we have applied the converse that is here we know by the construction that is these two line segment are parallel to each other and one point is midpoint then the second point will also be the midpoint midpoint theorem also say that if d and e are the midpoint and de is parallel to bc then de will be half of bc that is de is equal to half of bc this is also the part of the midpoint theorem the same concept we will apply in our two triangle that is a de and ac are parallel to each other and d and e are the midpoint of their respective side so we can say de will be equal to half of ac got it similarly we can say ms is also equal to half of pr m and s are the midpoint of their respective side and ms is parallel to pr so we can say ms is equal to half of pr further let's take the given part this is the given equation in the question here let's replace ac with twice of de and let's replace pr with twice of ms further we know e is the midpoint of ab so we can replace ab with twice of ae got it e is the midpoint of ab so ab will be twice of ae similarly s is the midpoint of pq so pq will be twice of ps here 2 and 2 will cancel out and this 2 and 2 will also cancel out we got this equation and all these six line segment or the three ratios are the ratios of the corresponding sides of these two triangles. So we can say the ratio of the corresponding sides of two triangles are equal. It means that both the triangles will be similar to each other. So we got both of these triangles as similar to each other by SSS criteria. Side, side, side criteria.
and we know once the two triangles are similar all their corresponding angles will be equal so these two angles will be equal to each other let's give the name to this four angle as one two three and four for simplicity so here angle one will be equal to angle three so this is the one important output that we got angle one and angle three are equal to each other similarly by the same procedure we can also prove angle two is equal to angle four we are not going into the detail just angle two will be equal to angle four so we got angle one is equal to angle three angle two is equal to angle four let's add the left hand side and right hand side we got angle a is equal to angle b the same thing that we are looking for we got angle a and angle b as equal to each other once we got these two angles as equal to each other we can apply the side angle side criteria in both of this triangle let's see here if we take the triangle abc and triangle pqr ab upon pq is equal to ac upon pr that is given in this question so the ratio of two corresponding sides as equal in both the triangle and further in between angle to these two corresponding side that is angle a and angle p are also equal the same thing we have proved as equal so by side angle side criteria we got both the triangles as similar to each other that is the answer of this question so students we have done with this lecture hope you have enjoyed the lecture created using the power of visualization our unique way of teaching and do not forget to download the formula and the concept list the link is given in the description and also this series or this lecture is part of the complete series on the triangle the link to all other videos are given in the description also check it out so thank you very much for being with creator classes have a great day and meet you in the next lecture bye for now